Good day everyone, Garage King here, and if your water pump in your BMW is not pushing coolant like this, you're probably overheating and you need a water pump, so you know what, let's get to it. Okay, so you're here to change the water pump on your BMW 3 Series. This video covers 2006 to 2011, so that's the E90, E91, E92, and E93. So that's the fifth generation, but not the diesel. So here we have a torque T25 bolt here. Now, why was I showing you all this? Well, to do this job, you have to lift the radiator. You do not have to take it out. You just gotta lift it. So you can see there's some clips there. Uh, and as we pan, there's an electrical connector that we have to unclip. And you do have to uh, raise the vehicle and take off everything from the bottom. So I'm not gonna waste a whole bunch of time, you know, explaining how to take off the bottom of the vehicle because it's relatively simple, it's straightforward. There's just a whole bunch of bolts, keep track of them all. And the whole uh, bottom sort of skid plate, if you wanna call it that, uh, will come off and it's actually not that hard. Now, one of the things I found with this repair was it did take me a fair amount of time to do it. Now, obviously it took me a lot longer than it should take you to do because I have to film it for my YouTube channel, but it still takes quite a while. So please, a lot sometime if you're gonna do this. And that's the last one. Uh, we can just slide this forward and right out, just like so. Now here I'm just panning under and we can actually see the water pump right uh, if I can point to it, it's right there. So let me pan back just so you know exactly where I'm coming from. So there's the front end under. So we're gonna scooch underneath, just like so, and that's it. What we gotta take off next is we gotta take off this piece and this piece. You can see those are just two 10 mil bolts. Now I don't know if this little impact will do it, And it took it out, so that's awesome. And my pack was dying out there. And then you can see this whole thing, just gonna let it hang on the front suspension like that. And look at that, we can get tons of room now up in there. We're panning back under, and we can actually see the water pump. There we go, right there, there's a whole whole water pumps. There's And there's only four bolts, there's one, two, and three and four. So it's actually not too bad, but if we pan back here, we can see in order to drop the water pump out from there, it's gonna be tight because we're gonna have these things. So it's just a little eight mil there. We're gonna take this off. We're not gonna disconnect the power steering hoses. We don't have to drain any fluid, but we just wanna move this out of the way. So let's do that. As this rubber part here is turning, you can see the whole thing's turning. So I gotta grab a wrench for that. So we're just gonna put a 21 mil on the rubber just so we can hold it. You can see I'm actually turning it there. And we are almost off. And our gun is running out of power. Sorry guys, hang on. Okay, I'm back and I have a new pack. We're back in business. Now I have Air Tools 2, 3, 8 stride, but I find these little guns, they do, uh, they're really easy and you don't have to drag the air hose around. So they're pretty nice. And there you go, that's what it was just at the, at the very end. So I like using these little guns. There you go. And you can see I just lifted that piece out so I don't lose the nut is just Put it on just a few threads there, just so we can leave it like that. Now, let's take a look at our water pump. And there's our water pump. So we're pretty much open now. So there's our two bolts there. There's our other two bolts there. There's the wire I just disconnected. From there, we got a ground right there, and we got our clip right there. So I think you need a screwdriver. And I don't know why, if someone's been in here before, but this ground is really tight here, so I don't know I don't know why that's so tight. You can see it coming out of the connection. Normally there should be a little more play in there. That's a really, really tight connection. So I don't like that. What I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna pull this plastic off because then I can probably get in up in here. See with the socket, it'll be a lot easier than trying to get this way. So with this, I'm just gonna pull it down like here, there we go. And we can actually just take it out. You can see how easy that was. So, so there's the one clip with the ground. So I just pushed on that and then you can pull it out. There we go, just like that. And you can see it's it's off now. There, so that one's off. And now just that ground. And then the last one is the one right there. Now to lift the fan, we just take out this one bolt right here. You can actually see the fan, uh, it's, it's, it's quite loose right now. You can see there I'm pushing it up and down. And there you can see it actually moves. So once we do uh, undo that one bolt right there, it'll be really easy to move up the fan. But you can see it is tight in here, but you know what? My ratchet actually got in there and it's an E12 bolt. And there you can see it's twisting. There's the bolts actually twisting back and forth. 
So what I can do is put my fingers up there and actually I should be able to even just unthread it myself. There you go, you can see it, I'm turning it. There we go. If I drop it, I drop it, doesn't matter. And there's the ground bolt. And there we go, it is raining. The reason it doesn't look like there's a lot coming out is I haven't undone the top yet. So Okay, so you can see there's almost nothing coming out. Let's undo the top cap. You can see it's obviously holding a vacuum. Once we undo this, it's gonna, it should come pouring out. And there you go. It's coming out. So once you have your radiator drain, put the plug back in. And remember, don't tighten it too tight. It's just plastic. And then we have a few steel clips we have to undo and that'll release our hoses. So I have this nice snap-on tool here. So let's see if it works. There we go. I'm kind of like a doctor doing some surgery. Oh, and there we go. There we go. Okay, so what I've done is I just undid that uh, one bolt that was there I showed you guys earlier. So I think it's a T25. And uh, I just lifted it up the fan a little bit, but I didn't take it right out. So this way I just have more room. And actually now even to get that ground bolt in that's up there, it's gonna be a lot easier. So my advice, lift the fan, but don't take it out, you don't need to. You can see here I've already been wiggling on lower connector here and it's already come loose. So I'm just draining it out a little bit here. There we go. I don't wanna spill too much. I'm trying to catch it all in the, in the catch pan there. And there we go, it's pretty much free. I'll pan on top to show you what I mean. So here you go, you can see I've just loosened it. So this uh, hose here, it's fine. It can just stay out of the way and it just unclips from there. You can just pull it out. And then like I said, it was just the one bolt on the inside and then the one on the, on the underside. So really easy and I was able to just pull it enough to wedge it. The other thing I did do that you should know is I just undid the electrical connector and it's just two squishy things. So I don't wanna go into a bunch of detail with that. You guys should be able to figure that out pretty easy, but you don't have to take it right out. Just lift it a bit and it's way easier on the bottom. All right, so now, this bottom one, I can pull right off. There we go. And then this one here, there we go, it's right off. There you go, you can see it's it's loose there. These pipes to get in the back, the clamps are really tight. So I was able to, to get all the clamps off. I'll show you what I used. I used just a tiny uh, ratchet there and it's just a six millimeter socket so you can see the size of it. It's a really tiny ratchet. So now I'm gonna be able to maneuver it around. It'll be really easy to get the clamp off. And these are not tight at all. E12 is a socket for these ones. And these are the aluminum bolts, so we have to use new ones. We can't reuse these ones. We we'll see we're connected right to that thing. That's what we're having trouble with. I just broke that hose free right there, the rubber hose, so I'll pull it off, but I actually forgot there is one more bolt uh, right on the top and there we go it's right right up there that's the bolt there so there is one more on top we have to undo actually you unthreaded it pretty much by hand I just cracked it free with the with the ratchet and then now if we're looking underneath we can see the pump should just there we go it actually popped off so this piece under here does not move very much at all this steel piece is connected to the engine so I think when they're together, like I said, this you, you get very little here. So I think the pump should come off separate from the thermostat housing. And now the thermostat housing is all loose. I can just get in the back. There's just one clamp. That's not a big deal. So tell me what you think about the video so far. Please leave a comment. Let me know, uh, you know what you think. Uh, this is, like I said, one of the longer ones, but it's hard to make this into a super short video. There we go. New one to old one. So it looks the same. So that's great. Now we're just going to take a quick look at the thermostat housing. You can see there's a better view. So you can see it's it's got the same nibs everywhere and the electrical connections are the same. I found it uh, interesting that the original one is made out of steel and then uh, this one's plastic. It is a genuine BMW part. So I guess this is how they're making them now, which is probably better because then the hoses aren't so tough to get off. I should say between the two pumps, the one thing to make sure to take off is this clip for the electrical. You just pull it off with uh, with a screwdriver there. You just open it up and make sure you put it on the new one if the new one doesn't come with it because you'll you'll need that clip for the electrical okay, one. Here's a package with a new bolt. So it says here, initial torque, eight foot pounds and then subsequent torque angle 90 degrees. So that's quarter turn. So here's our new bolts. Definitely don't want to confuse them with the old bolts. But anyway, eight foot pounds plus a quarter turn. 
Okay, so now we gotta go in reverse. So I was curious to get a plastic one from BMW when the original one was made out of aluminum. And you know what, I'd be curious if you had an aluminum one or a plastic one on your car and what year it was. Cause I mean, maybe there was just a change up over the later years. Anyway, let me know. All right, so now that we got this screwed on, you can see if I can twist it, easy access for the clamp. That's why, like I says, I took them apart separately. We'll just kind of tuck this away back in here. So that's, that's fine. So what we're gonna do is just try to line it up. There we go, we can see it's going in already. And you can see I just wiggled it in. So there we go, so now we can just clamp it up. So I got my new bolts here. So what I'm gonna do is put one in, just start it in uh, threading it by hand. This thing is kind of in the way a bit, there we go. Just like that. And here's the other one, just to line it up. There, and this is just so it doesn't fall out with me when I'm tightening it up. So now I got my clamp here. So I'm gonna take my clamp here and I can actually get to it. Number six, there you go, you should be able to see that. And that's good. So now I'm just gonna snug the bottom two bolts in by hand. As you can see, I'm just twisting the bolts in. And the reason I'm not torquing in them is these are one-time bolts. So if God forbid you forget anything, uh, it's easy right now just to pull the pump out and then change if you gotta, if you, I don't know, if you forget something or your electrical connections or whatever. Because once you torque them, that's it. Then you gotta get new bolts again. So that's why I just sort of tighten these up just by hand, like so. And then this way I'll, I'll torque them at the very end when I'm comfortable and I know that everything is connected the way it should be. Okay, and I was able to get my torque wrench in this way. So I'm gonna tighten it up. Okay, so I've hit, I've hit my eight foot pounds of torque. So now what I gotta do is I'm actually looking at my socket and I'm gonna make sure, or my extension, and I'm gonna just go quarter turn watching the socket. So this part, you just won't be able to see. It's just gonna be impossible. So I know quarter turn puts that about there. So I know that, okay. Okay, and that's it for that one. That's eight foot-pounds plus quarter turn. We got it done. Let's see if I can get this out. And then now we just gotta do quarter turn down below. This one's a lot easier to go quarter turn because we can actually look at the number. Even this uh, hole, that's what I do. I can just put it about here. So I know once it's at the bottom, that's quarter turn. So I can use my torque wrench or whatever ratchet, doesn't really matter. And I'm just gonna go quarter turn. There, and that's quarter turn. Same for this one in here. And this is too big. Well, not, I went on there, so it's fine. There, that's it. And there, it's lining up ever so nicely. Now these don't go tight at all. Now we just wanna make sure our wire is gonna be okay to come down, cause here's all our wires. And that's gonna go up like this and then back through this way, yes. So we just wanna make sure but all our wires are okay to, to go back. So yes, this one will go like this. There we go, just like so. You can see where that's flattened a bit, where, where it was before. So let's tuck that back in. There we go. And it's in. All right, so now we're just gonna put the hose back on. So when I took it off, I even just left the clamps just the way they were. And I got a few seconds of radio silence here while I'm putting the hose back on. So you know what, now would be a good time to hit that subscribe button if you are thinking about it. Remember, it is free to subscribe. Okay, and we're gonna pan in here. And if you remember, we got our ground bolt up in there. So that's right up in there. So we can get it in there. 
And if you remember, this was kind of a bit of a tight bolt, but since we moved the uh, fan up, we got a lot more room. So we're just threading it in like this, and then we'll get our socket on it. So we're just gonna thread it in by hand. And then it's easy enough to get our socket on it, just like so. And let's pan around. There we go. That part's done. And now I'm just gonna put this on the pump or the thermostat housing. We're just gonna fish this over and then snap it on. There you go, there's the pin there. And I can tell I pushed it on far enough where I'm in the groove, so I should be able to just snap this down if I can. There we go. So all our clamps are good, everything is good. So before I put this whole bottom part on, I'm gonna fill it up, but lastly, we gotta put the suspension back up. So we are in the last leg of the video and you can see here I'm doing the stabilizer bar, then I have the steering and then up top, don't forget about that radiator fan, we have to put that back together. And you know what, I want to keep you engaged so I want to make this video as short as possible. So I'm speeding this part up and to be honest, if you were able to take all of this apart, you are definitely going to, definitely going to be able to put it all back together. So next up what we have to do is we have to fill it up with fluid. Now BMW doesn't premix the fluid, so we're going to premix it and then we're going to fill it up. So here's the BMW stuff, so I'm just going to premix it right now. So I'm going to put it in a clear jug and then add water, shake it up, and then I can pour it in. And we're just going to undo the bleeder here. There we go. And we got some fluid in there. It's not gurgling anymore. There we go. We'll undo the bleeder and you can see it going down. Need a little bit more fluid. All right, so what I've done is I've pre-mixed the rest in this bottle because it was getting lower, so hopefully we have enough. I only bought one jug. Our bleeder is open, but we still have to bleed the system. Tighten this bleeder. Okay, now to bleed it, we're just going to push this so it all turns on. We're going to hold our foot right to the floor for 10 seconds, and that should hopefully activate our pump. You can see it's going. And it'll keep cycling on and off a bit. So that's great, so it'll get out all the air bubbles. There we go, and you can see it's getting out the air bubbles. And once there's no more air bubbles, you are done. Then it is time to put the cap on and drive the BMW like you own it. Anyway, I know it was a long video this week. What can I say, this was a really big job. If you've done this yourself, give yourself a pat on the back. That is it, Garage King over and out, and I hope to see you next week.